This video provides help with setting up the FarmScan Jackal controller for use with a Busha injector. 1. Default Setup It is worth starting the setup with a clean sheet. Choose the Factory Reset item at the end of the Setup menu. 2. Default Setting Wizard The default setting can be obtained by running the Setup Wizard. Choose the wizard function in the setup menu, then the sprayer item. Set the calibration values on the flower meter page in the flower meter setup, manual rate item. The speed sensor is GPS-based in our case. The default settings are appropriate. Skip over the sprayer boom settings. Furthermore, we are not using a talk level sensor. 3. Enter working with. In the Setup menu, set the width of the machine under Implement Width in the Other Settings item. The width is the working width of the machine. Thus, for example, a 6-row cultivator with 0.75 meter settings works at 4.5 meters. Four, default setting for quantity applied. Quantities applied can be set for the three shortcut buttons on the appliance, as well as the steps for setting quantities differing from these. Choose the Setup menu, Front Screen, Rate Item. The Step Unit can be set in the Step Item. Rate A, B, C are the values of the three shortcut buttons. Five, outputs. In order for the instrument to handle the ARAG 871 valve and the 863, the outputs must be reset. Under the setup menu output items, the outputs one and two must be exchanged. One should be negative, two should be positive, and item six should be clutch all. Six, pressure gauge sensor. A pressure gauge sensor can be hooked up to the pressure input marked six. The values can be found on the data sheet for the sensor. In our case, the 10 bar sensor at zero bar pressure gives a signal of 0.5 volts output voltage, whereas 10 bar pressure gives it 4.5 volts. In the setup menu, choose the input item, then channel six. Set the units, then the high and low values read off from the calibration data sheet. In the setup menu front screen item, choose a free row. Set the mode to input. Choose channel 6. Give it an arbitrary name. Choose the units, set up how many digits the value should have after the decimal point. In our case, the sensor is not plugged in, so the value is negative. 7. External switch. If a switch is hooked up to one of the digital inputs, the controller will stop the application automatically when the machine is pulled out. We usually use input 3 with the name tank level. To set this up, choose the normally off option or normally on respectively in the setup menu other settings item 
under the external run slash hold item, then enter the number of the input. Eight, simulation. It is best to try out the machine in a stationary situation before using it. This can be done with a simulated speed and the speed can be set with the aid of the buttons. Remember to switch the simulation off again before use. Set the simult speed row to yes. Stepping the home screen, the speed can be set with the speed plus and speed minus buttons. When you have finished, set the simult speed value back to no.